Yo, what's up guys, Strats here. This is going to be a quick tut. It's going to be like a tips um, sort of thing, showing you how to use effects on Photoshop. Um, as in, this effects here, the effects there, uh, like stroke, drop shadow and all that stuff. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is basically strokes, like black lines around your text. I'm going to show you different ways to use it. So we're going to go to File, New, um, it's going to be 1280 by 720 I'm not sure why. Um, unlock the background. I'm just going to write something in here. <clears throat> um, tutorial. I'm going to change the text. Uh, what should I change it to? Strats, hurry up. Just change the font. There we go. That's a bit. Let's just make that a bit. There you go. Um, I'm going to put two texts. So, tutorial. I'll just put text in this one. There you go. Now we've got that. I'm going to rasterize these two. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. Um, then I'm going to change. I'm going to go into effects on here. <coughs> go to effects. Then gradient overlay. I'm going to put some gradient on it first before I do anything. So we'll just pick two colors. Um, let's pick green. And then a darker green. That would do. Now we've got that. Click OK. Then go to Stroke. Now Stroke's obviously the usual stroke, but you can use. You can also use other things to make a stroke. So we're going to put black stroke for now. Just on that layer. And I'm going to I'm going to copy the layer style and put it there. Um, in fact, something I want to do is to make this a bit brighter. In fact, I really want to change the colour as well now. <laughs> um, that'll do there. Okay, so I've got the two layers. Now I'm going to show you how to use other sort of stroke effects. So go to text. I'm going to use inner shadow. Then I'm going to put the distance all the way down. I'll pass it you all the way up and then we'll pick a weird color which will stand out um, pink yeah pink will do um, now what you want to do you want to go to here where it says multiply and go to normal and then as you can see if you make it bigger you can see it inside there oh no I haven't even done it properly <laughs> put this choke all the way up and there's where you see it distance all the way down then put the size at whatever you want and that makes an inner stroke so you've got the you still got the black stroke here but you've got the inner stroke as well these are basic tips which not really many people use because they don't know how you can also do it with drop shadow just do exactly the same thing we'll use red um, go to multiply put it at normal and then put distance down choke uh, speed all, spread all the way up sorry then size whatever you want and there you go um, so if I wanted to copy that, put on that one, there, looks pretty cool, um, it's a bit cartoony sort of thing, but you can use this in many ways, um, and you can really get it to look nice by using different strokes and stuff, um, usually what a, what a lot of people do if they want another stroke, they'll add another layer and put it behind it and do all that stuff, but that is a very easy way to do it, and you can do it loads of times, and another thing you can do is if you run out of layers to use for a stroke if you want to add more strokes create a new layer merge it with the current layer so then there'll be no effects go back onto effects go to stroke and you can do the effects all over again so you get even more colors like that <laughs> and yeah it uh, looks pretty good um, that's about it that was just a little tips and tricks sort of thing uh, maybe I'll do more of these just little things and I hope you enjoyed this and it helped so thanks a lot peace